हेलो एवरीवन दिस इज हर्षिता भार्गव फ्रॉम चितकारा स्कूल ऑफ हॉस्पिटैलिटी एंड इन दिस सेशन वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न अबाउट वर्किंग कैपिटल मैनेजमेंट सो लेट्स स्टार्ट विद व्हाट डू वी मीन बाय वर्किंग कैपिटल वर्किंग कैपिटल मींस द करंट और शॉर्ट टर्म कैपिटल ऑफ द बिजनेस इन अदर वर्ड्स फॉर्म्स होल्डिंग ऑफ करंट और शॉर्ट टर्म एसेट्स इज वर्किंग कैपिटल ऑफ अ बिजनेस एंड द एग्जांपल्स इंक्लूड द कैश कैश इन हैंड कैश एट बैंक बिल्स रिसीवेबल इन्वेंट्री और स्टॉक्स मार्केटेबल सिक्योरिटीज एंड ऑल काइंड्स ऑफ करंट एसेट्स व्हिच कैन बी रेडीली कन्वर्टेड इनटू कैश कुड बी टर्म्ड एज वर्किंग कैपिटल दीज आइटम्स ऑफ वर्किंग कैपिटल can also be referred to as circulating capital of the business corporate executives devote a considerable amount of attention to the management of this short term capital or working capital of the business there are two prominent concepts of working capital or we can say there are two interpretations of working capital one is excess of current assets over current liabilities and the second is gross or total current assets when there is an excess of current assets over current liabilities it is called as net working capital concept or net current assets concept working capital is used for supporting day to day daily routine activities or current activities of the business moreover in funds flow analysis when there is an increase of working capital it represents employment or application of funds which again means short term capital or working capital of the business according to jeston berg who is a renowned expert of the field of finance circulating capital means current assets of a company that are changed in the ordinary course of business from one form to another as for example from cash to inventories inventories to receivables and receivables to cash this is the complete cycle of working capital accordingly there can be two types of working capital under the basis of concept and under the basis of time when we study working capital as per the nature of concept it would include gross working capital and net working capital and when we study working capital on the basis of time it could be segregated into permanent or fixed working capital temporary or variable working capital this is the basic difference between permanent and temporary working capital this diagram shows that the minimum amount of funds that a business requires to run its daily business activities is termed as permanent working capital and the amount over and above which is incurred or paid by the organization is termed as variable working capital which keeps on changing as per the requirement and circumstances of the business this is another diagram showing the same relationship or the difference between permanent working capital and working capital variable working capital now there are certain factors which determines the need of working capital or we can say that that the how much working capital a business requires to run its daily business activity depends upon certain important factors like nature of the industry a business is in the demand of the industry industrial products or services requirements of cash nature of the business manufacturing time volume of sales purchase and sales policies of the business inventory turnover business cycles conditions current assets requirement and production cycle so this was all about the factors which determines working capital requirements 
so this was all about working capital management thanks for watching the session